Friday, September 30th, 2016. My foot. I just came back to Israel from about four months of travel, vagabonding mostly, in the USA, Canada, and a bit in Western Europe. I have never been to Canada before, so I thought it a suitable destination. Maybe I would find a home there, or company, or interest, anything. As always, I wanted to test my ideas, or ideals, hardcore, so I went out with no sleeping bag, no tent, feel the world sandals, with thin flexible soles, and an uncomfortable small backpack. After a couple of weeks, I spent almost every night outside. Eventually, not finding feather down pants, I did buy a sleeping bag. Nights were cold too often. But I never gave up on my feet. My first days outside, walking cheerfully for endless hours every day, taught me the difference between daily fitness walks and actual walking. My feet were sore, bleeding, slowly callousing and quickly became unusable. I walked for a few days, then had a few days rest in a hostel. Eventually, however, my feet did get used to days of walking, marches, with carried weight. The calluses healed, the pain faded, or my endurance lasted longer hours, and I got tougher. The most primal, basic function of a human, or any land-loving animal, was gained. I could walk freely, almost anywhere. Walking long stretches on stones like big pebbles was too difficult and highly painful, but I'm sure I will get used to it. Another issue I had was exposure to the elements. Sun, wind, temperature, bugs, people, noise, dangers. Mostly the sun and wind, though. My body was not used to being exposed for whole days and long weeks. It gave me fatigue and irritation, sometimes bordering on distress. Again, with time I did get used to it, more so than before, although I still sought out shade and wind locks. These issues and my growing mastery of them got me to consider role-playing and virtual games. They do not expose us to the elements. Walking a virtual world is easy and boring. Walking the earth is difficult and challenging at the best of times. To walk some places is not impossible. Try walking through bush, a thick forest with thorny vines, or a stretch of thorns. Not to mention most places are not level. Climbing does feel. So, in conclusion, at least one of the lessons I learned from this trip, do not be afraid of your environment. Get used to it, feel comfortable in it as much as possible. Life is not only about feeling comfortable in your own skin, it's also about feeling comfortable in your own space. And virtual games could learn the lesson too, somehow.